Now, ladies and gentlemen, Counter-Strike Global Offensive 2, CSGO Source 2, or maybe it's just called Counter-Strike. We're not 100% sure what Valve is going to name the next title in this beloved franchise. But what we do know is this game is coming very soon, whether you're ready or like it or not. This past month, we've received more leaks, specifically data mines on Source 2 than we ever have before. From limited test builds for Mac OS, Linux, the Steam Deck, and Windows 100% ready to go, whether that's an alpha, a beta, or the full version, whole esports articles from reputable people in the community with release dates, professional players playtesting it, and what to expect graphically and the problems it'll come with. But most recently, there's been quite a few new developments, such as trademark changes, gaming events going on in the world, specifically GDC 2023. And in today's video, with all the leaks, rumors, and talk about a release date very soon, I think it's possible we'll get some sort of trailer or an announcement in the next few days. And that's exactly what I want to talk about today. Today's video sponsor is Market.csgo. Market.csgo is a buying and selling marketplace for your skins, but most importantly, a peer-to-peer -peer site. So the wait time is in between trading, buying, or selling are as low as possible. The marketplace has over 100,000 trades a day and even a built-in tab to find the best deals to make the most amount of profit possible. It also has a built-in client via download or Chrome to make trading very profitable, but most importantly, as safe as possible. Selling is as easy as the click of a button with extremely low fees, that of course being 5%. Definitely one of the best in its field and gives you an edge versus other competition. Once you sell an item, it goes directly to your balance. From there, you can choose to cash out with many different options, many more than other rivals sites. Market.csgo is one of the best of its competition. With its low selling fees, scam-proof client, and a large amount of cash out options, I can't recommend this site enough. If interested, it'll be the top of the link in the description below. So it's been a pretty hectic week when it comes to release dates for CSGO 2, CSGO Source 2, whatever you want to call it. It's going to have two in the title, apparently, as we know right now. But as it goes through release date, if most people haven't been following the Source 2 leaks, here's what you missed. CSGO has been a little more active in social media recently, and they've been replying with a bunch of Office gifts and relating things to the Office TV show. They've also been changing their banner. Some people think it's a countdown to something. I personally think it's just them trolling with this, but we'll have to see. As soon as they remove one of those CTs from that profile picture, we'll know it's something, but that's why I don't think it's been anything because nothing's been removed yet. Now, the reason this is such a big deal for the Office gifts and a few other things is its release date. The TV show called The Office was released on March 24th. The map of CS Office was released on the 23rd of March, but that's not all. Valve loves the March midway through the year release dates. Half-Life Alex came out in 2020, the VR game that continued the Half-Life franchise. March 23rd, 2020. Oh, and that doesn't stop there. Too easy for Petro. On Twitter brought this up and while well, I had to give it a like, it added more to the drama pool for this release date. Counter-Strike Global Offensive Condition Zero, going all the way back to 2004. This also came out on March 23rd. And while I'm not the only person who thinks this Office meme is connected or tied to this CSGO release date, PC Gamers has put it on an article, CSGO Source 2 Conspiracy Theories that make a bizarre kind of sense, which it kind of does, which is really weird. No other gaming company would and probably could ever pull this off without fans going absolutely crazy. Now, the main thing I want to discuss for today's video, which this leads me into believing it's coming soon. So there's a yearly event for gaming companies, but also software companies who have a panel, a roundabout table, or some demos of some new things they want to do, are going to do, and kind of want to showcase that are a few years out, or quite possibly right around the corner. GDC is Game Developers Conference. Now, you may have seen this before in some pretty popular videos in the CSGO community the past few years, where they talk about the CSGO skins economy, the current situation with gambling, the seven day trade hold, the tick rate of their servers, their matchmaking, their anti-cheat with the whole VACnet system, which was a complete and still is a complete failure. But this is the event where they would want to showcase Source 2, get it out to the public, get as many eyes on it at once, which would go right before the Paris Major as well, which would tie in perfectly to some sort of test there. Now this takes place on March 20th to March 24th. It is currently March 20th at 7.20 PM. Now there is quite a few events to scroll through. I'm talking probably hundreds of these things throughout the next few days. But Exerpast on Twitter put out a tweet that replied to X Mercy CS, which are two great people in the CS community I suggest you go follow. This is an article from GDC on how a senior software engineer at Valve Corporation is going to appear, have an all access pass, summit pass, the topic is going to be programming, the format is lecture, and it's going to be a video recording. So very similar to what they've done in the past with their skin conferences, talking about the anti-cheat problem. And it's going to take place Tuesday, March 21st at 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. So an hour with questions along the way. And it's supposed to be about a project Valve has been working on. They're going to give a brief history of it, the reason they've made certain design and changes of the whole thing along the way, and you kind of get the point there. But this, I think, is the best bet where we see a Source 2 release date and any sort of official word from Valve about Source 2. Because Tuesday, if you guys don't know, is the Tuesday weekly maintenance update, where Steam goes down, most games on Steam upload their updates at that time to not interfere with people's gaming sessions because nothing's online in the first place. When it comes back up, you update what's going on. This would be the perfect opportunity to do so really early on in the morning, too. Now, will it come out Tuesday? I'm not sure. But this has given me a lot of 
hope, and for some it's their last hope for anything Source 2 related. If it doesn't come out then, we could be looking at a Paris Major release, where I actually think this is the most likely situation, where even if it does get discussed at GDC 2023, there is almost 100% certainty in my mind that professional players are going to showcase the very first, midway through, or the last day of the Paris Major of Source 2. You're going to take 10 of the best professional players, put them all together in a lobby. I can't think of a better way to showcase Source 2 of what the capabilities really are, and some skins, you know, what they're going to look like. So if you guys enjoyed this Source 2 CSGO commentary, I got a couple of more, hopefully before the release date, investing into specific things before Source 2, and one final brief overview of what Source 2 actually is. And if we get any more leaks, news, rumors, data mines, I'll be sure to let you guys know and cover it here on the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.